guys this is Rachel Perez welcome back to my channel thank you for joining me and today I am using the fade into hue palette from Colourpop and this was recently on sale so I'm sure a lot of you did take advantage of that and pick it up so I wanted to show you using this so you could either follow along or create an entire new look of your own. I am not the most used to so many colors, but I'm going to try my best today and I'm very excited. And then I'm very excited because I have a lot of MAC and NARS products. So I am going to be using so those. I am just starting with the NARS Afterglow Lip Balm. It is very moisturizing and very, very nice. So I can tell you through my whole skincare, I went in with the Tatcha cleanser and then I went in with this Real Glow Chemistry Real Beauty and I love this. This is antioxidants. I find it really evens out my skin tone and I don't have as much rosacea. This is the Plum Plum Hyaluronic Acid. I went in with this for the first time, the Kate Somerville Derma Quench Wrinkle Warrior, and I really enjoyed that. I used this Super Goop Play, the Avene. And then I went in with the Max Stro Cream just over here and a little over here. And I am going in with this e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer in white. I just need to scoop a little of that out. So I don't like to use brushes to take it out of the container because if there's a little brown on the brush, it just gets all brown. Also, I used tweezers today to get some out. I, last time I tried to do it with a brush, I didn't like that at all. I liked it with my finger much better. And then I'm just popping this on. And this is just because we're using really bright colors and I want those colors to show through. And this e.l.f. Putty Primer is just a few dollars. So the one they make for the eyes is more sticky. I do like to clean it up a bit around this time and just kind of shape. You can map out your shape beforehand. So also once it's on your tray you can use a clean brush i like to use a brush to more so shape the end then put it on the face this helps with the edges and on the inside i want to make sure it's really flat because this is a little bit of a thicker base also than the putty primer for the face but this is amazing because it really makes the eyeshadow stick and really makes it pop. I want to do a little like almond shape, bring it to a, a little point. So how are you guys today? What are your plans for the weekend? I really try to just stay home, clean the house this morning, and did laundry, did everything we needed to do. The weekend is to reset, right? I'm gonna be using MAC products and NARS products for my base because those are some of my favorite brands. And I want which colors are we gonna start with? You need a lot of brushes. I really should have cleaned my brushes before doing this, but they're really not so bad um, because you want to really keep the colors separate or else they get muddy. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with this kind of glimmery purple. It's called Selfie. And I'm going to start this here. Which makeup have you guys been loving? Which eyeshadows? Are you using a lot of colors? Are you using more neutral colors? I just really wanted to play with color today. So you see how that base really makes the eyeshadow pop and then you can see how just right above it, it is much more faded. I'm gonna go in with right under that, the darker purple called Majestic. I'm just going to put that on half of the purple we have already. And then kind of blend those together. 
Purple is my favorite color. I don't use it all too often. And then I'm going to take a new brush. I'm going to go into this blue shade, Take It Easel. Beautiful baby pastel blue. I'm going to put that under the purple here. I mean, also, it's Easter tomorrow. So this is a very Easter look with all these colors and pastels. We finally put up pictures in our house today. Took a little while to get everything together because um, we did so many renovations. We literally took all the floors out, all everything, and we switched over the kitchen. It was in the living room and then we moved it to its own little area and it works out so much better. Painted the outside of the house. We did so much, what else? Well, we had contractors for the whole thing. I'm not skilled in handiwork. I'm gonna go in with the green. I'm gonna go in with the shade dyed up. I'm gonna put the green here. Ooh, that is neon. So you definitely want to use a different brush when you're using these different colors, but this is what I used for the other one. Okay, well, green's different. I use this for the blue, but it's fine, so. This is cool. It's like kind of like a watercolor tie-dye moment. Fix that with a little more purple. I want to deepen up the blue on the outside. I'm going to go in with the shade Watermark. And just press some here. These have so much pigment. They're so nice. This I haven't used yet, so... Blend that blue. And I'm trying not to get in the other colors. Build up this deeper purple. And then it goes to lighter. So this I can bring across because they're both purples. And go back into those lighter purples. Now I'm adding some Express in with the selfie. That's uh, the first purple. The green on top of it, Pose. And just go over that. Blend the blue. And then go over that green. Make sure the green is blended over here. Go back over that meeting line with the purple. There's a pink pressed pigment. Pink, yellow, and blue. I think I just want to do the blue and just hit it there. I think that's super cool. So just over that outer edge, a little on the purple, but mostly the blue. If I wasn't doing colorful and I didn't need that white base, I would have used this MAC paint pot. And it is a really amazing creamy base. My hands are clean, so it's really creamy and glides on. This is what it looks like on my hand. It lasts a really long time, so that's really amazing too. Now, if I was doing a natural eye with these products, I would have used that and I would have used these two. Single shadow in Best of Me. So this is also just a cream color. And then I would have used this NARS single shadow 
in Blondie, and that is a brown that's more cool tone. But I wanted to do something more festive today. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows. And I really enjoy this pencil because it really sticks onto my brow and really stays throughout the day. This is the pencil I have been using recently. I draw a little triangle here for my arch, fill it in. I purposely tweeze my eyebrows a lot so you don't have to be like me at all. I would rather have thick eyebrows but I just find it so much easier to shape them like this. And then I'm going to make the tail much darker. But this is for the front and just that base. I normally also love the Benefit brow products. I use all the time. I love the NYX brow lift and snatch. So a lot of drugstore, but I know a lot of high-end brands are coming out with brow products now. Uh, so I'm not, I don't think I'm going to try the show at Tilbury, but I know I really want to try the Kosas products because those also look so cool. So that is with this pencil. And this is a really good pencil. Now I'm going to go in with the Cabrow from Benefit. So I am using my Benefit products. And this is dark. I don't know if it's darker than that pencil. Yeah, it's a little darker than that pencil. So I'm going to put this on the outer portion of my brow so you can't see that there's not as much hair there and it gets that nice ombre effect. So I'm not going to bring it in at all. That's exactly how I want it. Now I'm going to use the Anastasia brow pen and I'm going to use this in the front for nice strokes not too many and just comb through the hairs and pull them up this glue gel freeze is really thick and nice they are really covered and then press with your hand because that really sticks them to your skin. And then we're going to fix the top a bit. Just comb like that. And now we can get to the beautiful face. I'm going in with MAC Fix Plus Gold Light. I have my little fan. I find that using a fan during makeup to dry the primer, setting spray, foundation, concealer, drying these things are really important. I'm going to start with a very exciting product. This is the MAC Studio Fix Foundation. So that's Neutral Warm 13. I think that's a good amount for the whole face, but we'll see. I'm use my Anissa Pinnacle Foundation Brush. I'm just going to wipe it off here on my towel. And then... I was shade matched by the um, the makeup artist in Ulta. She's now studying to be an esthetician. She's just starting at school and she asked me a few questions because I was like, oh, I'm an esthetician. So look how it covers the redness. So it has a great coverage. The shade is great. We know Max is amazing already. It just melts right in. Remember to bring it down. And let's see what it does. So skin-like, but gives you a lot of coverage. So definitely a Your Skin But Better foundation. If you have redness, but you don't want something that feels heavy and that is very full coverage. Like, so it's full coverage, but not heavy. I'm gonna get my Anissa concealer brush. 
to go near the eye. Really melt the foundation into the eyeshadow and the brow. So right here, just gently pressing, not even shaping the brow. I'm just covering my redness here. Going in with my damp sponge, just to press. And you always wanna do a nice light skin, nothing too crazy heavy. Um, and out there when you are doing a more bold of an eye because it really plays on each other and balances. I have two NARS concealers, but they are the soft matte ones and I don't want to use them because I would rather use a hydrating one that I have today. These are really great for the whole face to cover blemishes. Um, more in the cheek area or right here on the forehead, but for under the eyes, I really love the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, the hydrating. So, this is the shade Biscuit. So this is a little warmer, but I'm gonna have, um, bronzer over here anyway. So this is kind of gonna be my pre-bronzer. In this area. This is the lighter shade. This is more just like my skin color. Just have some extra coverage. I don't see that texture as much. I'm gonna put it around the mouth. I'm gonna start off with light peach. I'm gonna start with this NARS Laguna Liquid Bronzer, and I just used this in a video. So, a bunch of pumps of that because it only pumps out like one little drop. Now I have another damp sponge. I'm gonna go in with this Tower 20 Bronzino in Best Coast, just to Give it a little dimension on the sides here with a different color. Blend that in. Light peach here, just here, just to make sure there's no darkness under the eye. This one in light sand. I'm gonna go there, right under the eyeshadow, little around my nose, on top of my nose. Clean up that bronzer a little. Give it a lift over here, over here, but I'm not going to do the full line. I'm gonna go over it just a little, just like that. Uh, glow up Clay Blush in Cheer Up. So this you really wanna warm up with your finger on the pan and then press it in. And I really love this color, I love the texture. Okay, and I like to do that with my fingers. Black Medium Golden Mineralized Skin Finish. I'm obsessed with this powder. It is so nice. So nice. This Sonia Kashuk Tapered Powder Brush. And I like that it's tapered. I'm using this powder on my whole face, so under my eyes. 
And this is one of my standout MAC products. I just love it. And then with this foundation also, it's amazing. I am going in with the NARS Laguna Bronzer. I am using a tapered highlight brush from Luxie. I use this more for bronzing. Blending sponge and cut out here to lift it up and just press that in and then I'm going to do the same thing right here to just lift up with that powder my forehead the Anissa tapered highlight brush anything loose you want to make sure you tap out so this is illuminating and a little blush this version from NARS and this is the pressed version from MAC this is called the beaming blush extra dimension skin finish and it's a very bright so i'm gonna put this more like the highlighter because it has much more gold in it and then the other one i more used as a blush you see that gold sheen compress it in a little press that line just to blend that line. Now I have my loose powder from MAC. This is the Studio Fix Perfecting Powder. And I'm gonna take a different powder brush. This is from Japanesque. Get some of that on. And just work that in. When you really want a flawless face, you need a lot of powder also because that is really what blurs your face. And if you have a lot of texture, you want powder to blur. So again, I got the Kiss Lash Glue Liner because I love it so much. It's just so easy. You don't have to worry about lash glue. Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Um, when I do my top lashes, I go like this so they're away from my lid and then the bottom I go like this so they're away from the lid. It just helps a little bit. So I have my liner here. Makeup Forever in 14C. This is just a pinky lip to go with the watercolor. Just going right over this. It makes them look a little bigger. And then I have a gloss, the e.l.f. gloss, the Jelly Pop gloss. Because this one doesn't have a lot of color. Kind of acts like a clear gloss. I'm just going to clean that up a little bit. 
And then we're done. Oh, I didn't put highlighter. Yeah, no, I did, I did. I'm just not obsessed with it, so. I usually use 